Welcome back everybody, Mr. here bringing another Mass Effect Legendary Edition video. In this video we're going to be doing the Prothean Data Disc. I went ahead and did all three planets, Noveria, Pharos, and Firemire in order to see if it was still possible to get all ten discs. But it is not. There are two in the Voyager Cluster system that you cannot access unless first you finish the UNC Miss and Marines mission and you need to do that before you complete Vermeer. While you can still do the UNC Mr. Marines before you return to the Citadel, you, there are some things you need to make sure that you do. Before going and speaking with Anderson, you need to go speak with Admiral Kahuku. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, so I like to always say Redneck's my first language, English is my second. But anyways, you need to speak with the Admiral in order to return to the mission so that way you can unlock the Yang Ten system inside the Voyager cluster and get the last two discs. The first of the two can be found by surveying the Altamir planet, which is just southeast of the Sun in the Yang system. The second one can be found on the Bentu planet, just right after landing, head southeast to the anomaly, and that's the last two in the Voyager cluster, which I mentioned do have some minor restrictions in order to get them. Now the good news is, you only need 7 out of the 10 to complete the Protein Data Disk mission. And I would honestly suggest doing them all before you go to Vermeer. That way you can get all 10 if you feel like completing them all. Now I am going to go ahead and put down below in the description for the other 8, since on this playthrough is more of an experiment than actually completing it, in which case I did not get the last 2. But if you follow this guide, you should be able to get all 10 discs as long as you do it before Vermeer so that way you don't accidentally lock yourself out of the Citadel. And with that we're going to go ahead and go to our first one which is located on Cassia Planet inside of the Monto system of the Maroon Sea Cluster and it is directly south of the landing zone. Now when you start heading towards the mountains it can be a little difficult to Traverse so you want to take your time make sure you can get around them use your boosters whatever and once you're there You're going to find that you're going to have to enter a code to unlock the first Prothean disc The second one will also be located in the Montana system as well directly to the northwest of so the first one in the asteroid belt you will have to first scan and then survey a rocky asteroid. The third disc can be found by surveying the Warmai planet located northwest in the Erebus system in the Sty Theta clusters. Number four on our countdown is the Carbonaceous Asteroid located in the Phoenix system of the Argos Rho Cluster. Number five on our countdown is on Antibar in the Trevoska system in the Armstrong Nebula. The anomaly is slightly northwest of the landing zone. As you approach the data disk, you're also going to encounter a Thresher Mall, which you will need to take care of if you want to get to that disk safely. Once the Thresher Mall is defeated, nearby you're going to find corpses laying around of Geth and humans. The Get to play the trap for the humans, but it didn't turn out good for any of them. Number six is an asteroid cluster disk found in the Sparta system in the Artemis Tau cluster. 
It's located just directly north of the sun. Number seven can be found by scanning the Charon planet in the Theseus system in the Attican Beta Cluster. Number eight is located on a Jontama planet in the Fartana system within the Hades Gamma Cluster. Simply survey it and it is yours. And with that said, if you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a comment on anything I can improve, or just simply to say hi. And as always, my friends, game on.